Yeah, starting with downtown Youngstown, here's a look at Doppler radar. And what I want to point out, you can see there is no snow right over the city. And we just saw that in live drive, at least what is falling down. That's off to the southeast. And uh, that is going to be a trend through this evening. Another thing I just noticed on live drive, you saw that slushy snow that the car was driving over. Well, temperatures are in the upper uh, 20s, close to 30. Tonight, they are going to drop and dropping down into the teens. So that's going to be crunchy, hard pack ice on untreated uh, areas as we get into tonight and on into tomorrow morning instead of that slush. But a big part of Trumbull County now clearing out with the snow, still dealing with snow over here in Mercer County, and that includes Grove City. Uh, the heaviest snow falling uh, right now across southern Mercer County, including Interstate 80 and I-79. Uh, then into Mahoning County, improving weather from the central part of the county around Canfield westward, but still some decent snow into the eastern half of the county, down 170, southeastern Mahoning County and Columbiana County starting to improve from Lisbon West, but still getting a moderate snow down toward Wellsville, East Liverpool and Calcutta. So the trend is for improving weather tonight. Now there's one more batch of snow that we have to go through, and that's uh, moving through uh, the Canton area out into central Ohio, west of New Philly. But the biggest part of this will just brush across Columbiana County, and then I'll be looking for a small chance of a lake effect snow shower later tonight. So here's Future Tracker through the evening. Uh, Future Tracker has done a great job. Uh, we were expecting this to finish up this evening, and that's the case here by 9, 10 o'clock. Small chance of a lake effect uh, snow shower or flurry later tonight into tomorrow morning. And it is going to get cold, dropping into the mid teens to get your Wednesday morning started. I am expecting clouds tomorrow. But I'm also expecting sunshine with those cooler temperatures. Highs in the mid 20s tomorrow, so a cold day. And then later tomorrow into tomorrow night, here we go again. Lake effect snow will fire up, especially across Trumbull and Mercer counties. And I'm looking for heavy snow. This is a mean lake effect snow band here right on into Thursday morning. Uh, could see more than six inches of snow underneath this across Trumbull and into parts of Mercer County. And it does drop as far south as northern Mahoning County on into Thursday. So going to keep an eye on this blustery lake effect event setting up for us later this week. The other story, cold temperatures. In fact, wind chill readings dropping well below zero here as we wrap up the week into Thursday. Temperatures tonight, upper 20s, close to 30 and falling, falling all the way down to about 15 by morning. Snow showers wrap up for us this evening. Additional accumulation, less than an inch in most spots. Tomorrow, 23, your high temperature. Better weather, uh, partly sunny skies expected uh, for your day into the middle of the week. Here comes that cold forecast, down to eight tomorrow night. A trace to three inches possible north and east of the turnpike into Thursday morning. Another trace to three inches possible on Thursday. Highs of 12. Yes, that's a high temperature. Wind chills will be near or below zero. Blustery weather around. Lake effect wraps up Thursday night. Friday looks mostly dry, at least through the daylight. And then colder uh, with more snow trying to move in here as we go into Friday evening. Friday night, that snow changes back to rain Saturday. Could have heavy rain around. Then back to snow Saturday night into Sunday morning, and it's going to add up. And then it gets cold again as we go into Sunday night and Monday. An up and down forecast and a stormy one, too, over the next seven days.